What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be going into a game just doing whatever we want. A lot of you guys uh, were interested to see, um, you know, how the team works. Like, how does it look on the field? What's really going on with it? For those of you guys that have already been subscribed to G Myers World Gaming, you would have been getting the full recap of the Twitch stream, so you would know what's going on. But for this video right here, we're just going to jump into a game. Weekend League is over for us. Um, all of the games have been streamed on Twitch uh, via G Myers World. Um, and also you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at G Myers World if you would like as well. Right now we're going to have the Patriots offense. The Bengals defense, I only had this just in case I wanted to be an idiot and run, um, and run 3-3-5 normal. But I don't know if I'm going to be really running that. Uh, the 4-6 is kind of stupid. It's, it's a really, really, uh, dumb defense right now simply because like, uh, I don't really know how to explain it. It's, it doesn't really work like it used to once they patch the, um, you know, the contains out of three three five odd. It kind of ruined the four six defense for the most part. But you can still kick, you can still get kind of glitchy with it if you just run stock four, uh, stock four six uh, cover three. Uh, so it is what it is. Let's go ahead and um, you know go to seasons. I think this is going to be a brand new season, so it doesn't really matter. What we're going to try to do right now is we're going to create a scheme right out of the Patriots playbook. All right. This is going to be a scheme that I think, hold up, are we first team all Madden? Let me just make sure everybody knows what's going on. Yeah, first string. Uh, let's look at what our record is so you guys get all that information. 342, okay. We're on a 10-game win streak, 10 Super Bowl wins. Yeah, that sucks. I know. Whatever. Let's go and see what's going on right now. We're going to jump into the game. Now, this is primarily why I'm doing this. Some of you guys have issues uh, with, you know, just knowing what to run, why I run what I run, and uh, how it works, right? Regardless of the overall of your team, there's certain plays in the game that are glitchy. Uh, any dive play out of any formation, if you run it the right way and you have a little bit of stick, you're going to have success doing whatever you want with it. Okay? That's just point blank period. You will have success. It is what it is. You have to make sure that you know which way to go when you, like, you got to be able to read the hole. If you're not able to read the hole, you're going to have a lot of issues. And that's just, you know, you know that's just the nature of the way the game is. So going forward, what I'm going to try to do, because you guys have been asking for certain tip schemes, if you guys want tip schemes, all you have to do for this video is like it 300 times in 48 hours. You got 48 hours for 300 likes, and I'll start giving you guys tip videos on uh, offensive schemes and stuff like that and how to run it. And, uh, you know, make it, you know, just get your game up to a whole nother level. If you want it. If I don't get to 300 likes, you guys don't want it. We move on. I don't give you any tips. It is what it is. You guys can share it on wherever you want. Do whatever you want. But get her done. Like, bro. Okay, so this is this guy's championship game. So for those of you guys that don't know, when you're playing somebody in their championship game, your whole objective is to ruin their life. Um, I never used to be like this, but Madden has turned, Madden's brought the mean out of me. Like, like, I really don't care if this guy wins anything else after I beat him right now. Like, I don't care if he ever wins a game again. I really, really automatically don't care about anything with this guy because I'm angry that he's in his championship game. So I said we were going to come out running the single back scheme, right? So look, this is what we're going to do. Doubles, right? Doubles has dive. They have, what do we have? We have the stretch right there. Okay, we're going to probably um, come out. We're going to run the dive first because we got to let the clock, because the way the clock is, we're going to let the clock run a little bit because I don't want to stop like doing the subs and everything like that because primarily you're going to want to take Gronkowski out of that, um, well, you could probably keep him at the tight end, but if you want to run the four verticals, he might not be the best case. You might have to go with a Kittle. So pretty much you're going to look and see what's going on with, you know, ID that middle linebacker. So L1, tap him, make sure so we can watch that guy because he might be the issue right there. You see, like, even though even though he got ID'd, you see how he still came free to the right? If we go up the middle, the center is supposed to pay attention to that guy, but obviously we didn't go up the middle. All right, so now... What would be the next thing that we do since we're going to be running this offense? Let me see. Because I want to see. Okay, we got that. Okay, we got the close thing there. Okay, let's come out and run four verticals. And we're going to put deep crosses out on the field. All right? This is just primarily to just make your opponent just, just rage. Because he looks like he's... What is that guy doing on the left there? We might be able to do something with that, though. All right, we're going we're gonna to put deep crosses for the outside in the slot. Let me see what he's doing over there on the outside. What is he doing? Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. That's what I thought he was doing. And then he drops the ball. All right, so because he was in cover two, Calvin Johnson eventually gets um, wide open because, you know, the cloud flat doesn't stay there forever. All right, we're going to have to go to tight slots right here. we got to go to tight slots because I don't want this guy to win the game. If he wasn't in this championship game and it was a normal game, then I would just run a new scheme, but I don't want this kid to win the game. So we're going we're gonna to do what we have to do. And plus, on top of that, he's running sag defense, 
and trying to get lucky, which is very, very irritating. It's very, very irritating to me. So we're going to just like, that's just a typical cross route uh, combination. You know, send a streak, do whatever else after that, and then we go from there. Um, right now, because we're pretty close to the, to the red zone, we're like 19 yards away. We could play around with this a little bit. I want to actually bring Gronk as my fullback on this. Franco Harris put Kittle here. And then uh, what happens with this, right? With any stretch play, the way that your team blocks, obviously L1 and up, you're going to max protect. Like, even though you're running the ball, always max protect on these runs because it'll make your old line do weird things. Like, they'll actually start blocking people for some reason. It's weird. All right, but in that case, they didn't block anyone. So I don't know what they were doing. It doesn't really matter. We're going to run PA boot right here. We're going to have um, Franco Harris is already doing a deep crosser, right? It's already a set play. And then we're going to make uh, we'll make Johnson do another one and we'll street Kittle. We'll put the running back on a blue route. Let me see. Because he's playing sag defense and trying to, you know, get lucky. So it is what it is. It doesn't matter. You're not, you're not good enough, bro. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not good enough, bro. You're not going to alert me from 10 yards underneath. You're not good enough, bro. You suck at the game. All right. So look, this is, this is what, what just happened, right? Cover two. If he doesn't cross man, right? You still, we knew he didn't cross man because everybody was obviously in zones. So that's his job right there on that yellow to go back and meet that crosser. If you would have looked to the left side of the screen, you would have seen that Franco Harris was also open. Why was he open? Because of the streak that I had Kittle on. So the streak's going to take everybody upfield. The drag will be, you know, the cross will be open going to the left. That's just a, that's just a change up within that I pro set. All right. So there's a lot of different things to run. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the New England Patriots playbook. Now, with this, we're going to just pretty much turbo blitz this guy because I, I need to frustrate him. So we're going to turbo blitz him every snap. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go ahead. Um, hmm. What does he have? Okay, so he's gonna, okay. He's running stuff like this. All right, now I don't like this guy even more. All right, so let's see what he's doing. Go ahead, we're gonna turbo blitz him. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Drag everybody up. Drag everybody up unrealistically. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna turbo blitz this guy every snap. So this is also a very dangerous thing to do because you got to time the snap. Uh, you don't want to get too wild with it. Um, what I mean by getting too wild is. Um, and for whatever reason, uh, yeah, this guy, he hacked the ball so quickly. Throw right here to the flat. Okay, just get sacked then. All right, good job. What was it, PA? Oh, Pat Verts. So you, so why did he run? Um, he should have just ran, uh, what's the name? Been there. What, what, what is that other play? Uh, Pat Sale. He could have ran Pat Sale right there. It probably wouldn't have worked, but he could have ran it. All right, he's going to do something weird here. That's fine. We should be all set, though. All right, go ahead. What are you going to do? You're blocking everybody and sending that guy out on a route. All right, cool. All right, good play. Good play, man. Oh, he dropped it. Uh, oh, and we still tackled him anyway. Okay, there we go, bro. That was nice. Good play. Are you going to punt the ball? All right, so now now that we know what he's doing, right, this is, this is the situation. Now that we understand that this guy sucks at the game, what we have to do is this. We have to now take command of the game, right? So he's playing that cover two, and we know that it's working. So what happens is the tight... Even if he, I don't think he's been bringing pressure. I don't think he's going to start to bring pressure based on the way that the game started. So this is only a scheme for if the guy is not bringing pressure. You could actually send all your routes out. Like everybody's going out on a route. Um, if they are bringing pressure, you have to adjust it. You have to adjust what you're going to do. And how, oh, 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 I know you felt that. I know you guys felt that right there. I know you guys felt it, man. I know you guys just felt that. That was insane right there. Good play, man. Good play. Now he's on his D tackle. Okay, he went on his corner last minute. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. He just... Did he just block shit through three people? Wait wait a minute. Did he just did he just block shit through three people? All right. One way to stop the block shit stupidness is um, L1. Go down to the player and just uh, uh, spotlight him. Like, just highlight him. And now he won't come in. He shouldn't come in regardless uh, from what you just saw before. But, you know, it is what it is. It's Madden. But we just we just actually ID'd him. So, yeah, you see, like, how he's getting stopped right there and just getting blocked up? And he, Okay, that guy went back too far. Okay, he just did a one-handed pick. All right. That, that was wild. That was wild. That was wild. Th this, this game is absolutely garbage. I didn't expect them to let him come free on the play before that. So that's why that just happened. And then I threw that ball, even though I didn't wait for Dion to start coming down. The whole objective with the crosser 
is to be able to wait wait it out. You got to have enough time for the corner to actually come down. That like that's the secret to it, um, which is very very stupid. But that's what a lot of people run for that reason. Um, it, it and like I said, it is very stupid, but it is what it is, and it does work as long as you're able to get a little bit of time in the pocket. You can get lucky. The what 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 just what just what was that? I don't I don't I, okay I don't know how to explain that I don't know how to explain what just happened so I'm not gonna I'll let you guys explain it I don't know how to explain it it does, like you know what I'm saying like everything that just went on right there was so unacceptable I don't know how to explain that so I'm just gonna leave that alone I'm just gonna chalk it up as you know the developers are you know playing with quaaludes again and just leave it as that because I don't understand what that was all right we just went right up the middle all right so that's fine. Um, typical double A gap blitz blitz everybody just don't care about anything and it usually works um, he probably I don't know if he would punt but regardless if he wouldn't punt or not is not the issue the issue is we have to make sure that we're able to um, defend whatever he's about to do right here and I think my safety is good I would move my safety over a little bit but I'm not going to yeah because I think what happens is this right guys because of the formation that he's in when you when you set up your double a gap like whatever you guys are doing like with me like you could blitz everybody out of any formation nickel nickel wide whatever you just have to know where the read is you know what i'm saying and that's the secret to my success is that typically what happens is these idiots their reads is exactly where i think it's going so we're going to go back and do the same exact thing we're going to run tight slots we're going to go pa flood shot and um we know what he's doing so we're going to go ahead immediately once we get to the line he's 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 um He's playing sag D. So we're going to, uh, you know, ID him. And then we're going to set up our deep crossers. Everybody's going to be doing the same exact thing. But now we'll have time. But you still have to look to make sure. Make sure that nobody is coming. And then you're good to go. You see what I'm saying? Like, this kid has no idea what he's doing. He's going to lose this game by 50 if he keeps playing that defense. But that's one of the ways to make sure that you stop that, uh, you know, from occurring. Just ID the guy. Just ID, And he's still doing it. You can see that he's still doing it. Okay, so we go back. We ID Khalil Mack again. Try to, oh, bro, we, I don't know if we got, we got to ID him properly right there. Everybody looks like they're... Oh, he's wide open. All right, so just stay right there. Let's go. All right, good job. Good job. Good defense. Good defense, man. He was just standing there by himself. I, I just had to hit him. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, if he's standing there wide open like that, we just got to hit him. Like, it's, it's not a question about it. it. It is what it is. So, like I was saying, right, once you ID that guy, you saw how more people came... Because he's starting to send more pressure, he's starting to get annoyed that, that we know how to stop what he's doing. So that's what's happening. So again, I don't know what he's doing right here, but we're going to ID him again and just make sure, you know, th that he's not an issue. Because we just take him out the play completely. That's all you really... Okay, so everybody is doing that. All right. So smash everybody up right there, and then we're going to just start running. All right. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You can If you take away everything, just don't force anything. That That's the number one thing to this... When you're playing against, you know, sag defenses, you can't force things. And you guys might notice right now that I'm playing a lot differently than I do on stream when I'm just keep doing the same thing and I'm forcing it in the coverage. Because I'm doing a tutorial and trying to show you guys the insight into the game, I'm not going to force it because then you guys are not going to really learn anything. Even though if I do force it, there's a chance that I, like good things will happen. It's still not something that I want you guys to, you know, to be doing all the time because it doesn't, bro, come on, man. I should have ID'd him, though. I should have ID'd him. Khalil Mack is playing out of his mind. Khalil Mack is just outright playing out of his mind right now. That's, what, that, that's pretty much what's going on. He's just playing out of his mind. That's all. Nothing big. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you got, you, the best thing to do is just ID at least one person every, before every snap. Just ID one person. Try to take one person out of the game that's going to be, be the issue or that you think is going to be the issue. That's ridiculous that he just that was able to do that like that. That was ridiculous. Um, we're in the 14 yard line. Um, mm. see, this is dangerous, bro, but you could go to bunch, go to verts. Um, let me see. Cause Moss, I wouldn't go to here. I would try rice and see, let me see what he's doing. He just picked off Jerry rice. I hate this game. I, bro, I just high pointed that and they made a five eleven linebacker just jump up. Like, okay. I, I should have just threw it to X. X was wide open. My fault. But Randy Moss, 
on, on the outside, you could even high point him like at the 14, you know, from that point. He, he definitely makes things happen right there. So those are just other options that you could do if you wanted to. But I, everybody else was open. I just didn't think that his user would be able to jump that. And they made him do it anyway, so. But he's not a good player. Like, typically when dudes come out and, um, you know, they want to run wham or whatever, I would come out in 4-3 over. If you guys really want to, like, mix it up a lot, I would recommend, like, a Detroit Lion playbook so that you guys can really get everything in one playbook with the 3-4. And, like, that way you're never really left out of whatever you're going to need, you know? Um, that's something that I would recommend highly. He's going to probably throw it to the – oh, no, you did it. All right, that should be – yeah, 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 good, good play. Good play right there. Nice, nice job, man. If he wasn't this terrible, um, you you guys would probably like. It, it's hard for me to to really gauge what this idiot is doing right now, because right now he's going back to bunch. So let's move him over here a little bit. That way he. Okay, go ahead, hike the ball. You're gonna throw it to this guy. Yeah, right there. Good job. All right, and then he's he's already hit sticking. The guy was already hit sticking, but it didn't matter. All right, so look. We're going to go back to Bunch, right? We're going to do the same exact play, uh, the Pats four verts, right? But this time, he probably should figure that we're not going to go back to Rice. But if Rice is open for any reason, we'll go back to Rice. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. All right, so we, we'll hit him. All right, because the underneath route should always be open. So, look, this this is the thing, right? With Pats verts, with that, with that uh, you know, the running back route, that guy is always going to come open underneath. So you don't really have to worry about that too much. It like it's almost it's like almost definite. I don't want to say like it's a guarantee, but he's going to always be open underneath if they're playing that type of coverage with cover two. So you could always just leave him doing whatever you know whatever he's doing and just see what happens with that. Now curls attack. This is a very very good play in the red zone for high point right. But because he's already picked this off, you got to be careful. You got to be very very careful, and you got to make sure the guy is set up right. Like right there. Okay. Oh my God. All right, high point and circle was probably going to be the going to be the read, but he got pressure right away with Julius Peppers. That's fine. Typically, I would run the ball here, but I know that this kid is not a good player, so I'm not really worried about it. In this case right here, I'm going to okay. We're going to do the same exact thing. Okay. All right. All right. Good job. Good job. Okay. Just just run it out with Cam. Run it out with Cam. I didn't know if I was. Oh, they sacked me. He sacked me right there. Really? Hmm. That I was not that that was just wild. Okay, hold on. I wasn't expecting I thought I was across the line. I was trying to spin move and I was actually about to throw a pick. Alright, so Moss is doing that. Is this this is still cover two, so yeah, everybody's moving around. Alright, yep, there he goes. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Who who was that that just went for the high point? Is that Randy Moss? I don't know if that was Rand that was Randy Moss, right? I probably should have waited for him to get deeper into the end zone. Maybe that would have made a difference. But I just love the, that. That is just so infuriating that guys are just laying on the ground and they're getting picks. I don't know how that makes you guys feel. But it's, it's very, very annoying that EA Sports is even allowed to make video games in the country. But that, that's not what this is about, though. That's not what this is about. Yeah, run, run back in the middle. Oh, my God. Okay, that's my fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. I'm going to stop playing with this bum. In the red zone, what we're going to do from now on, we're going to run the ball and now uh, we're going to score. Because we gave up two red zone possessions right there. Just just like, just like being being foolish, we gave up two red zone possessions. But again, he's no threat. He sucks at Madden. So we don't really have to worry about too much. But that doesn't make any sense to be giving up plays like that. So we'll change that up a little bit. Oh, yeah, nothing, no, bro, nothing like a little turbo blitz action. Nothing like a little turbo blitz action now. Now with him, now he, he, oh, oh, that's inappropriate. But what he's doing right there now, he has to figure out, like, how much is he willing to lose? You know what I'm saying? Because if he, if he tries to do anything crazy, it's second and 19, you, you got to be smart here. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't want to go back to that same route that I lurked before. So he saw it. You see how I left it wide open and he didn't throw it? That's just because of your, you know, your brain recognizes that that was the last play that, you know, that got picked. You're not going to want to do that again. That's all that that was right there. All right, let's spread the D-line here because we don't know what he's doing. Yep, go ahead. Run, run this. Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, spin move. There you go. Good job. All right. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Also, guys, remember, if you don't already know, L2, just strafe and just stand back so that people can spin move right into your arms. What happens is if you play people that are a little bit, a little bit more sticky, uh, they're going to be able to like, like let go of turbo 
and do some really wild things to you, bro. Like, it gets really, really crazy. The biggest thing about it is this game, it's so easy to get into the red zone, but it's so difficult to score in the red zone. Like, you could, you're always going to get a dot right by the end zone. It's going to be right there, but then you're not going to be able, depending on who you're playing. Uh, like, this, this kid right here is terrible at the game, but he knows how to um, rush three people and, and do that. So we're going to highlight him again. All right. Uh, what was that? Why wasn't he on his, his, his crosser? I don't understand what he's doing. Okay, take that guy out of the game real quick. All right, he's still not playing defense. All right, that's cool. Why was I spin moving the wrong way, though? Why was I Why was I just spin moving the wrong way? That was kind of weird. You see what I'm saying? You see, like, with SAG defense, the thing that's interesting about SAG defense in this game is that most of the time, they're not going to get lucky like that. But in some cases, they will. Why did he just... He turned around and didn't... Bro, what was he just doing? It's cover two, bro. Bro, it's cover two and he just didn't... All right, we don't really have... Um, then if he's in, uh, I gotta see what he's in. Let's, uh, spotlight, no, spotlight this guy. Bro, this guy. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh, man. We're, we're just gonna, we're gonna take our field, uh, should we take our field goal? Yeah, we'll take our field goal. We'll take our field goal. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not gonna try to do anything else. We're gonna take our points. We already missed out on six points. So let's just take our points so that... We, I, I don't I don't remember if I get the ball back, but we'll go up 17, and then the game will be over, and then that'll be it. But the, it's very, very difficult. Like, with the, with the way that this guy is playing it because of the coverages that he's in, in the cover two, you can high point and do stuff like that, but you got to be very, very careful. And when you start doing it and you get used to it a lot, you just throw it no matter what. You have to make sure that the guy turns around first. And um, when I high pointed the other one that got picked, it got tipped and picked when I was trying to go to Randy. I, I didn't wait long enough for it to happen. So that's pretty much why, you know, the outcome was, was what it was. You have to wait until they turn around on their curl routes, everything that they're doing, in order to be successful with it. Else, obviously, what just happened is going to happen. So let's see what he's going to come out doing. He's running two. Okay. So we'll just... He might try to go deep on us. It's a two-back set. So we have to be careful with whatever he's doing here. All right. Go ahead. What are you doing? Go ahead. Whatever you want, man. Do it. He's going to block your running back and everybody else. Okay, good. Okay. There you go. Good job. And we're just going to wait and straight. And then that way we know, and then we're wasting more time, and then uh, that's it. You know, he's going to come out, do something stupid. We could have lurked that. Um, simply, you know, that could have been an easy, easy lurk. But again, it's all about, you know, you have to have the proper setup and just know when it's time. Because if I move Sanders to go over there to try to do something like that, that might not end too well for us. So we have to pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? Like how we want to do this. Like, God, he's going to try to, okay, you running the screenplay. All right. Okay, that, that was stupid, but it is what it is. I guess it makes sense though. Okay, so he gets the ball back. So we, we messed up. We gave him, we had two possessions. We could have at least got three. And I'm trying to high point in the, in the end zone like an idiot. And that's what happened. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to be careful with that situation. But pretty much with the way his offense is right now, guys, you can pretty you can do whatever you want. You can run stock coverages. You can blitz everybody like I'm doing out of nickel. It's a lot of different ways to do it. But ultimately, it's all about your user and just knowing his tendencies. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, we know that for, for whatever reason, he might try to go to the flat again, right? So because he might... Okay, so he's an I pro. We got to wait. We got to watch it now. We got to watch. He might run stretch. Oh, no. Uh, a dive or something? What is he going to run? Okay. Oh, t uh, oh, a toss. Okay. All right, so we just wait. We just wait. You don't want to engage too much because if you engage and he spin moves you, obviously it's going to be a wrap. So just strafe and stand back. Some people will just keep running. If that's the case, you got to be able to move side to side with the strafe if that's necessary. But um, you don't really have to do much, you know, to stop an offense like this. This is not really like a, a masterful offense. You know what I'm saying? Maybe slants right here. Okay, he's still doing that. Okay. All right, good tackle. You just wait around, bro. Just wait around, dog. Like, he, he knows that he can't move the ball by passing it. What you could do also is just switch it up and not blitz everybody and come out and play coverage as well. Like, 1-3-3-1, one, three, three, one, those are ideal for, like, just coming out and, and you know, playing a base cover two or whatever. And then, um, you know, seeing what you could do with that. If that's something that you wanted to do. Let me see what he's doing now, though. 
But you just don't want... You just want to make sure that you're in the... Pro okay. So he... Oh. There we go. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. I, I hate that animation with a passion, bro. You see that right there? Like, you, you gotta... You gotta... Be, yo, man. I'm a, he's just stuttering around and doing the stupidest things ever and getting away with it. It's just so stupid. It, it, it really just is. All right. So what is he doing now? We're going to keep where we are. Okay. Everybody's good. All right, what do you got going on? Okay, you still running stretch? You're going to run stretch, I guess, yeah. Okay. He runs stretch, and everybody stands there, and they just let him run it. All right. So now with this, as far as, like, playing the run and everything like that, over here, you just got to be careful with, um, you know, not giving up the biggest run. Um, I'll let you guys see this. I'm only playing zones. Like, I'm not changing anything up. He's still running stretch. Everybody, they play it better when you leave them in the zone. If you blitz them... They, they play really, really dumb. So I would just leave everybody in zones and let them run stretch and, you know, see what happens. You're also going to get a lot more pressure with just rushing the four guys than you would if you were rushing more uh, because of nano detection. So that's just something that, you know, you should be aware of. And then, he, bruh, he literally just ran. He just ran exactly where I was supposed to be coming down in the zone and just did that. He literally just ran directly where I was supposed to be going. And just did that. But as, lo as long as we keep him doing stuff like this, it doesn't matter. He could take all the time he wants. Another thing, though, with the 335, I know a lot of you guys have been seeing that uh, around a lot. The 335 normal, that would actually um, do a lot of work, too. He might go to the, uh, he might, yeah, he might go to the flats, though. He got scared when he saw the guy playing the flat. All I did was just hot route my corner to the flat. You know, this is typical bum stuff. Level sale, things like that. You could, you, if you're going to blitz everybody like I just did, make sure you take away the flat. If he goes deep, you got your corn, I mean, your, um, your deep blues, you should be good there. All right. If, if you guys are wondering like why I can get away with doing that. Yeah, I can get away with doing it because he's, he sucks at the game, but that's not all that it's about. I also could get, get, get away with it because he simply is a moron. You know what I'm saying? So it's two things. Two things can be true. Oh, okay. So he just, he had all that time, which was weird too. He blocked everybody, though, but he still had too much time. Um, what you could do in situations like that, you could send more people. Like, you could actually bring more. You could, you could send a corner. You could do a lot of wild stuff. Like, if guys just sitting in the pocket and you just can't deal with it anymore, you could do a lot of different things to, like, you know, to change that whole situation up if you wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Like, right there, we didn't get a chance to move our corner in, so he might get lucky on a crosser. He just might. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he might get lucky. All right, no, he just got sacked. One, who was that? Lawrence Taylor just came in with two guys on him and sacked him instantaneously. All right, that's the that's like the number one reason why you should have a Lawrence Taylor because he he just could, he's he's gonna come in where other people won't come in. Like he'll just regardless of what's going on because we're not on aggressive or anything, but he'll just play like that. All right, now look again. I've been showing you guys getting up the field is very very easy using bunch pat sales. Uh, you know, I like the flood shot just because the concept is, you know, good. Um, you know, it, it's you it, getting up the field is not the issue, but making sure that when you're playing guys that run sagdi, that you spotlight players is ideal. It's ideal, man. Like you have to make sure that you're doing that. This guy can't. Bro, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, he he doesn't know what to do. He can't stop this play. Now he messed up because we're at the 41 right now, and uh, we could actually run this play again. Before we get into the red zone. So he kind of messed up on it. He's try he probably trying to figure out, bro, I'm on aggressive and I'm trying to cheat him. And it's not working. What's going on? He doesn't realize that we know how to stop that one guy from... get out. Of Why is my camera angle like this? All right. We, we know how to stop that one guy from doing what he's doing. So, you know, you see everybody's just taking him out to play instantly. All right. Um, right there. That's another dot. And then he's doing it out of bounds. Good job. Good job, Calvin. Good job, man. Good job with that. But he's, this guy is not going to stop what he's doing. He's going to keep uh, running the SAG defense because his ebook told him it's supposed to work. So he doesn't have a mind of his own to stop. He's going to keep doing it. He has no idea what he's doing, but he's going to keep doing it anyway. All right, we're going to run this then. We're going to just run this. Oh, he just went right on the ground. All right, we have to try to – that's the 34. All right, we could probably just run a draw play right here because once we get 17 points, the game's over. So we could probably, yeah, let's just take this to the end. Let's take this to the end. Now it looks like, what is he, in 3-4 defense? So he's running like a Detroit Lions, like I suggested. I'll probably go back to that too because he's probably like in a cover four drop or something. That, and he's trying to stop whatever I'm going to do. 
But even if he's in cover four drop, the draw play would be ideal against that anyway. So it kind of works out. Doesn't really matter if he's in cover four drop. We should be able to get the yards we need. Um, so what you're going to do is the same thing. You're going to... Um, you're going to want to spotlight at least one dude. And then, uh, yeah, he's in cover for a drop probably. And then everybody played excellent defense. Congratulations, man. Oh, he's in fire zone. Really? Did we take the field goal? No, nah, I don't think we're going to take the field goal. Because he's not playing cover for a drop. He probably has no 3-4 in his playbook. So that's good. That's good. Why take the field goal right here? You could, but you're not really doing anything. It's still a two-score game. So um, right now he probably is blitzing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge away right there. Um, put that guy doing that. Do a little fake hike to see what he's up to. Okay, he's blitzing everybody. And then we throw in a dot. And then that's it. So pretty much right now, you would go to chew clock. Obviously, somebody's going to come free. So you just let it happen. Because with some of these defenses, especially a lot of the guys that run, they blitz seven. You could still motion a tight end and do a lot of different things. But ideally... It really doesn't. Um, it really doesn't matter. Some of these blitzes are so stupid; they're gonna come in no matter what. So, just let him do it, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's look at him sliding around over there. He's just sliding around backwards, dog. Like what are you doing, dude? My man is just sliding around trying to run nickel double a gap. Like what are you doing? And then we're still running draw plays because we don't care. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter to us. Like yeah, bro, keep doing what you're doing. Like yeah, we out. Oh, you got spin move. Then you were still ready to go. You just turned around and was ready. Okay, look. Where is the... Um, let me just show you something real quick. We got the stick, right? We got the stick play. So we already have dudes doing the automatic turnaround. So you could go with a deeper one and see if he goes with that. And you could leave that, you know, along those lines and see see who he covers right here. And then he should be... Yeah, he should catch... Okay, he didn't catch that. Usually, once the ball's in their hands, they catch it. But that is... Um, that's Jerry Rice... So he's probably going to drop it because he has 99 everything. Um, any other player probably would catch that, and it'll be a wrap. But, again, like I just said, it's Jerry Rice. Uh, the team captain, they nerfed him so badly, it's disgusting. And um, it's just something that EA, they, they've been doing on a regular basis, and it's just starting it's starting to become too much. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it's starting to become way too much. And um, I just don't want you guys thinking that other cards wouldn't catch that. That's, just, that's strictly a Jerry Rice thing. You know what I'm saying? He's just not going to catch the ball, and that's it. All right, so now pretty much as we walk through the game, this is like a this guy is like an average guy that you'll run into. And you just got to be able to move the ball down the field uh, very simply. Um, it's, not, it's not something that's difficult at all. He's going to try to run it now. Um, he's going to get dominated while he tries to run it, but it doesn't really matter. I guess we could run cover three against it too. Doesn't, okay, you're going to go underneath? Where are you going? Where are you going to go with it? Oh, right here? All right, that should be mine. Oh, he get, they gave me an animation where I'm trying to fight him off. All right, cool. So now he's running my plays. So these are guys that come out, and that's what that's what's going to happen. They they know that they suck at the game, so they'll try, you know, to see a little bit like, yo, wh why is that working? Whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me run this guy's play and see exactly what's going on. And it, they'll try to figure it out like that. But then Lawrence Taylor, he's going to scream. And then he's, you know, he doesn't he doesn't understand what's happening. He's running bench like it's Madden, Madden 11. He doesn't know what's going on. All he knows is that he made it to the championship game and he's about to take an L in this file. That's all he really knows right now. So everything else that he's doing doesn't really matter. Okay, what is what is what is going on right now though? Let me see what he's doing. Go ahead, bro. Hike the ball. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. You got it. Right there. Okay, so you're getting sacked again. So why are you running these plays? What are you doing, bro? Okay, so now he's gonna quit. Alright, so that should help you get through, you know, winning some games, running those crossers. Um Running the, running the tight, it's a very, very good way to just abuse what the game is. Running the deep crossers, uh, IDing those guys. That's a, that's one tip that I wanted to get out to you guys for people that are playing sag D. ID the D lineman that's coming in, and he will be, bro, he will be non-existent for the play. All right? Let me know if this, got, if this helped you out. Oh, we got 60 online wins already? Good. Let me know if this helped you out and you would want some more, and I'll get back to you guys and girls as soon as possible. All right? We got one win. We're pretty good there. That's good. Until next time, one love.